This network on Scarlet's <laughs> with so <laughs> Yo, 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 folks, we are just talking about it's totally against Twitch regulations, so we're not getting involved in it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scots We Soul podcast. It is week 106, and with me this week, I have SM Viper. As my Stop host, as always, SM, SM Viper, Viper, you hidden dodo. <laughs> DM Viper is here, sorry. And I've got my two brothers as well. My younger brother, David, and my older brother, Alan. Over there. Blue Mini, and like it says before, hit the exclamation marks, type in what's at the top of the side of the cameras, and you get the channel links. You don't have a channel, so you'll not get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a channel, I just don't stream. I do have a channel, I just don't stream. But do you want to be liked? No. Well then, shut it. Oh, I like it's the best one you've ever seen. That is, the, that is <laughs> just about <laughs> the same exact same thing. <laughs> I sub to random people just for their reactions. <laughs> what is it? Your mug is uh-huh. bingo. <laughs> the, the first time that appeared in my chat, it was <laughs> like Twitch name of the year. I think that was kind of like the one. <laughs> His girlfriend's got a like a Twitch name of the match, which Chelsea's. <laughs> You're done well, Michael. You're done well, Michael. I think there was a, a secret oh, collaboration with him. I think uh, some some oh. of the best ones um, I've seen is that you've got. You remember Absolute Scottish came on the channel and we banned him like as a joke. So he went away and then came back as Absolute English. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> That's right, sorry, Dad. That was great. That's right. That was funny. I mean, do you know what else was funny when Absolute Scottish was on the podcast? He's down. <laughs> to... How many Talk times are we going to mention fucking his dad's nipples on the podcast? It's, it's... Like, it was fucking, it was too good, it was too good. You're just podcasting and then all of a sudden you get like a fucking topless middle-aged man like that. Hi! <laughs> it, was, it was more his reaction of just... <laughs> Flap my boot like a big massive flappy thing. Full Kermit the Frog trying to hide these fucking dad's nipples. <laughs> well, since we're on a podcast, we'll just let the big mad flappy thing go. There's loads of jokes involved with that, but we'll just, we'll just <laughs> leave it for now. We'll, we'll just let it we'll skip we'll just past. Let it pass, shall we? <laughs> it's probably the best idea to be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really find much topics this week because the topics are stuff you really can't talk about on Twitch. Do you know what I mean? We all know what's going on in the world. We all know that it should be mm-hmm. happening. Um, but I think what we should like kind of focus on is like gaming news and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because everybody's just getting inundated with all that stuff that's in the news and stuff like that. So there's three trailers I want to watch, but there's also um, a funny article that I found tonight, and this has been happening quite a lot over the past decade. And is like see all your art for the Renaissance period, mm-hmm. yeah. or your like priceless art, or your Da Vinci's and stuff like that. They've all started to degrade in such a way that people are looking to get them restored. So, look at this article, click this article, right? Field restoration leaves famous painting of Virgin Mary unrecognisable. Look at the fucking state of that, <laughs> by the way! Look at the state of that! That is ridiculous! Do you know what I mean? What, was, what did that cost? It cost like fucking something like 15 half quid or something. There you go. $1,300 by a furniture restorer who claimed they could clean and restore the collector's copy of the Immaculate Conception of Los Ven- Venerables or Venabril- Venerables or however the fuck you pronounce it. It looks like something a primary three. Just about to say the exact oh, same well, thing, I guess. Well, your first primary like three artwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, it's like, it's not the first one I've seen either because, look, I mean, you can understand why <laughs> you can understand why this one get restored, but look at this data. It's almost like fucking people are trying to memeify it. Is there any? Is there any mere examples? Absolutely. See, this one's not so bad. The one at the bottom's not so bad. Do you know what I mean? It's been restored. Dude, why would you paint it? That's not why bad. would you paint it? <clears throat> it's a wood carving. But it looks because... like someone just went full on five year old warhammer on it. <laughs> this one's going to be pink and this one's going to be blue. Like, oh no! I don't think that's all so bad. I don't. I don't. Think I that's still so frown bad. on this generation for that kind of stuff. Or they'll see the funny side. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
there's always got to be people with that sense of humour. I mean, every current year, no, no. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? And you can always get on with that guy's nose, what that doesn't he? I kind of always like, like early just... Nintendo 64 graphics, what you see in like Goldeneye. That's what that face from me. Tomb Raider. Oh my god, can we turn on the big head mode? I want to see this. Wait, have they painted? Oh, did they okay. repaint the sides as well, or is it just the base been scanned? Aye, they've, re, they, they've repainted. They've redone. They, they've redone everything. They redone, They basically just painted over it. Like this is this is it's one of the things that uh, that happens in your generation as well. Is like you get a lot of single uh, like only children, and even kids that are the only child uh, children you grow up with brothers and sisters. Parents these days are like they don't like to tell their kids. No. Oh, by the way, see that you've mm-hmm. just done? That's not that good. That's completely mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> Do you I know think I mean? the problem you know is that I mean? like, generation focus on is you're good high. At, and that's the problem with things. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, like, you grow up and never have been told you've been crap at things. Always been, like, people... You know what I mean? Even in normal life, it doesn't even mm-hmm. be your parents. How, how, like, people are scared to give you honest opinions nowadays. And it's because of the internet and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because... Like, you get a bad opinion on something, all of a sudden it's on Twitter, look at this cunt mm-hmm. slating me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And they've got fucking loads of people or fucking cunts backing them up straight away, do you know what I mean? Whereas, that guy's not a fucking artist. <laughs> you can clearly see that. Nobody's told him that before. Listen mate, you clean couches, just because this is a picture on fabric does not put it in your fucking He's, he's really did actually well you know right I mean? until it did the face, if you look at it. Well, how, how can you get it any other bits wrong? No, the face that he's and fucking, up. Hair in a fucking cardigan, do you know what I mean? Like, anybody can draw hair in a fucking cardigan, you just brush it. <laughs> it looks like a Nintendo Wii character. It does, it looks like he's, he's made a Wii character. It's, what is that, it's like, they call that, they call it the monkey Jesus. <laughs> that, that. It does look like a monkey. <laughs> okay. It does a wee bit though. No. I can see yeah, it in I mean, the, like, the, the hair. What's up with the mouth? What's happened to the mouth? He's like, oh. I don't know. On, the, on the left, he's got a full beard, and on the right, he's. I don't. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> he does. He's a very very skewed. Which, beard, actually, right? like, do you know that uh, that that meme? And it's like the fish who gets like a carrot shoved in it, so it goes, oh. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, look at this one here. The detail in that. That when was that fucking painted? Damn, that's like seventeen hundreds or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And look at the detail in that. That was a guy who never had the internet, probably didn't go to college, probably just learned how to paint. But did he have any mind numbed with console games and stuff like that either? Yeah, no, that's a problem. So in the days time. you only had stuff like art and building and crafts and stuff like that, so you were more likely to be more talented in that way. Like, let's be real, look, look at fucking Mozart. Aye, but you could walk up to an engineer in fucking the 17th century and a 10 year old could put them mm-hmm. to shame. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's so much more knowledge available to us, and because of that, we're so much more saturated. <laughs> Here's a question. So, like, at the same time, somebody that's, that's managed to make it to have an easy income. But because you can just you know click on I mean? the internet and read this stuff up, you're actually less knowledgeable. Well, because it's readily available to you, you, you don't have to do put any effort into finding stuff out. Do you know what, what I mean? What we're talking about is uh, the Dunning Kruger effect. It's known. I call it Mount Stupid Dunning Kruger. I call it Mount Stupid, right? But it's Dunning Kruger, Dunning Kruger effect, or Dunning Kruger syndrome. And here's a graph of it, what you're talking about. And um, because we have access to so mm-hmm. much knowledge, our confidence shoots away up. Whereas our wisdom. Is not really that high on the scale, but as, as we as our wisdom grows, our confidence goes down because we realise, holy shit, I we might know all this stuff exists, but I don't know how to fucking build a steam mm-hmm. engine. Do you know what I mean? And that's technology for fucking hundred yeah. years ago, and you feel dead stupid. And then here's like your academics and stuff. Here's when you like start college and university, and it's where your your confidence starts to rise to meet your wisdom. And here's your cunts at PhD level. And Donald Trump's right here at the top of Mount Stupid, standing there like a fucking chip. He's big, he's big, stupid, screwed up face. He did make a good point with that, Meanie. Fucking look at how Donald Trump stands. I don't know what it is. 
he just he just leans forward slightly, and it's it's a bit unsettling. Do you, you ever, have you never <laughs> seen a bit of Donald Trump just standing? It's <laughs> generally. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm giving it no. Go on Google, just type in Donald Trump standing, and you'll even like it's. It's not even like he's standing. I, I don't, maybe it's because he's a bit front heavy. He just. It's like he's getting pulled that way, and it, Donald Trump standing delegates tells you he's voting that how many people voted for him and shit. Oh, there it's there it's there. Like, like images. Like, <laughs> just. He's, he's right up, he's, he's fucking rubbing that fence. Tra- oh, no, he's not, but... Like, it actually looks as if the microphones are holding them up. It does, does not it? It looks as if why the microphones has got Donald Trump fucking, like... Why like, are they horses? Like, there was, you see the Wayne's playing on, like, a horse, he don't have a stick. It's as if somebody's got a Donald Trump, he don't have a stick, and it's... It's holding... It's holding it through the tongue. shaking hands with the President of Canada, the two pitchers to the right. He's, he, it looks like the president card is like, <laughs> like it's all right, son. Look, we're gonna get you home, right? <laughs> I've never noticed that before. That's really bad. That's really bad. Yeah, does he want to see John and Tony? Aye, aye. That seems to get him early <laughs> deciding what's going to happen with the fate of the planet. <laughs> oh man. Oh, who's in chat tonight? Might as well catch up with chat for a bit. Yeah. Hey, sleeps. This is funny in a terrible way. Hey, ba- <laughs> hey, Bambi. How are you doing? Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Ma- Mary. I almost done. <laughs> I almost said Mary again. The amount of times I do that. Hey, Mary. It's no Mary. It's Mary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aldi. How are you doing, man? And hey, Aldi says your mix up. He's went from full beard to neck beard with his tongue out. That's what the guy does look like. He's got a neck beard and he's got his tongue out, man. <laughs> See, holding hands with my boy, Kimmy. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so what trailer are we wanting to watch first? Josh, uh, you're, you're, the uh, Avengers trailer? Your audio is coming out. Your, yeah. mic, your webcam, though, your fucking microphone. Oh, is it? Excellent. Mm. It's usually me with the technical problems Maybe. as well. Maybe it's better like that. If it's easier. Dab, dab. Uh, do you know what else what? he's doing? He's off by 1500 milliseconds as well. Hold on two seconds till I sort that. <laughs> I was playing PlayStation last night. Mini's sitting there like, ah, yes, this is fantastic. He's not happening to me tonight. Man. I came on clean and fine. There we go. Camera should be all good. Now. Back to podcast screen. Maybe Doug's cam in the corner there. That's way better. Aye, I bet it is. I fucking bet it is. Davy sticks the legs. Davy. That was. Dear Vanessa. Hidden dildo. They'll say hidden dildo, <laughs> aye. But don't the the whisper it because we'll try to see if people can hear you. Yeah, the fucking audio's it. just gone for Discord now. <laughs> Your audio's gone. Oh, it's fucking. We can't he hear you, son. Oh my god, man. I'm Somebody type in fire. chat and tell me his audio so we... <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh my god, they should be able to hear me. And now I can't hear them. What is going on? Why has this happened? Oh, because it's changed to that. Right, right, cool. Um, so, can you hear me, aye? It's off aye, 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 aye. Good, because I couldn't hear you saying you could hear me, so that I'm fucking sitting here. Nice setup, shut up, you LD. You're a mod, I can't hear you, Right, what were you talking about when you were talking about uh, hidden dildos, so, uh, Yeah, we were. We were talking about hidden dildos. Um, again. Again. By the way, they were going to for a pound. Who's <laughs> <laughs> back about us? Here we go. Before the podcast, we were talking about how um, different like systems of government don't work in like socialism, <laughs> communism, and I was talking. I was talking about how capitalism's probably best because you can just outcapitalize everybody else, and they're like, "Go on then, give an excuse." I was like, I "Sell dildos too for a quid." Boom. Yeah, 
<laughs> hidden dildos became a thing, so that's what the hidden dildos is. There's the way the reason the way the reason hidden dildos became a thing was because I was talking about how I pre-ordered the fucking hidden blade from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and <laughs> to, to ask, can you replace the bl- blade with a dildo? And I'm like, what, like a hidden dildo? And then we started joking. Like, the, way, the way he said hidden dildos made it sound like he was on a call center. Like, hello, hidden dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found a hidden dildo somewhere? Do you need it removed safely? <laughs> oh, 800 hidden dildos! <laughs> Cold dildo removers now. Unplugged. <laughs> Your dildo problems are, are only a phone call away. Sister called me a Digby Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast is live to six o'clock. Then we'll be going, uh, taking the stream down and coming straight back up so as we can upload podcast to Twitch without having to edit it because fuck having to edit things. <laughs> um, but at six o'clock, we'll be switching to Killing Floor 2. So anybody that's got Killing Floor 2, feel free to come on and play Killing Floor 2 for an hour or two. And then for the rest of the other two hours between eight and ten, uh, suggestions are open for what game we might play. My suggestion is Gang Beasts. I really enjoy Gang Beasts and I was getting good at it last week. I was actually managing to yeet pa- people off the edge and stuff like that. So I want another shot at Swat, Swat Granny and fucking Goth Cunt, right? I want a shot at them again. But then at 10 o'clock the night, we've got the quiz. And it's, can you believe that this will be the seventh week of your quiz? That's quite a fucking lot, isn't it? It's really been quick, it's just, man. It's flew by. It really has fucking flew by. But oh, it's week 106 of the podcast. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. <laughs> Sorry, Viper, what are you saying, son? It's like all of a sudden we'll have a year anniversary of the fucking quiz and it'll be just a question of all the questions that could have been asked during the whole entire year. <laughs> <laughs> well, sections for the quiz tonight. I've actually put an Indie Scots section for the quiz in tonight to test people's knowledge on Indie Scots. Five questions. Some of them are just funny. <laughs> Everybody should be able to get them. But Indie Scots, that's the first section. General knowledge is second. Gaming is third. Pictures fourth. TV and movies. Geography. Science and audio. That's our eight sections for tonight. Hey, Callan, how you doing? Welcome back, man. So, what trailer are we watching anyway, boys? That's one thing I've been wanting to talk about. We've got the Rogue Legacy 2 trailer that's coming out next month. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 new trailer or the Avengers game trailer. What are we watching? No, no Squadrons trailer? With Squadrons? <coughs> Star Wars Squadrons? That's fucking Star Wars, mate. Fuck off. The fucking Star Wars squadrons. Nobody wants to talk about Star Wars. What Star Everybody Wars? was. It's the fucking first, <laughs> first person fucking flying Star Wars. Hold on. <laughs> He's lost all faith, isn't he? It's like, I'm going to have to search this myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm hijacking the fucking podcast now. Right, okay, Star, Star Wars, Wars is the one in squad. chat. Star Wars is the one in chat that's been asked for. Give Star Wars, put a link in it, and we'll watch it, Viper. Let's go. Prick. Fucking Star Wars. <laughs> There's a new game. To be fair, the squadron does look really good. Not Disney, it's Star Wars. <laughs> Five minute trailer? Fucking Star Wars? The second Death Star is gone. But the Imperial Fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron. Let's make history. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done. They always make them look fantastic and then they come out and shit. Well, it's this the VR. It's VR. Star so. Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single player story spanning two factions. I'm determined not to get excited about VR because the upgrades to the map PC would need to use VR. With the option to play the entire game in VR. This is not a good thing. You're very big VR, but that's it. You'll begin your career in a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots. Flying from the Empire and the New Republic. Those videos you see in the massive gaming rigs with the 
the fucking seat moves and the monitors move and stuff, right? Oh, I I playing that on VR. Playing this. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I do. Targeting and shields. I seen I seen one of them another day for the Ace Combat and it was in like side. a glass Prove box and on really flipped the jet and she ran the 60 degrees and stuff to fucking <laughs> flip drin in a circle. Oh, they upside Welcome down and stuff. Sitting there for one of my spies was the attacks with the new Republic. When Mummy fucking Project. got the PlayStation VR, the story of the two pilots he got that fucking together. Eve game, the one where you're flying about the spaceship in the galaxy. and having like dog fights in space. Let him and, like, like that was really fun. Like, see, so the space and shit. Just get to do that. It's super You'll awesome. Need flight time so, like, I can understand how Star Wars fans are like, I just get to do that in the Star Wars universe. Able to handle any yeah. Situation. Interceptors it, are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get it. Is it coming from the coast? Hunt it down your opponent's starfighters. Support ships can keep allies safe and stop death. Like it looks like it'd run on PlayStation. Probably for PS5. Next, attack or defend two mediums. I don't want to learn how to fucking do you. Tell us what it's your hope. But yeah, looks very fun. Uh, does they tell oh, you what it's out for? It just tells you it's coming out? Launch, yeah, launching. Launch, are you launching where? 10, 20, 10. Cape Canaveral? Do you know what I mean? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the second or the 10th? As in this year? That's an American calendar, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, they, they confuse me. <laughs> ah, they fucking move the dates a bit and you're like... Ah, they're, as long as it's the like dates the, the 10th of February's already been, it should be out. <laughs> <laughs> it does look quite good for being Star Wars, not gonna, not gonna lie. It does. it does look good. It looks like Wars. an animated cartoon as well. See, like, um, what was that, the, 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 way the, graphics, the way the graphics look, it looks heavy console via. Because if that was coming out for like exclusively Oculus Rift or something, that'd have been yeah, all pure like, mega crisp. But it just looked like a fucking like an assassin, like the new Assassin's Creed trailer in terms uh, of graphics. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. They just pumped it right up. But I think that's coming out for console. The way it looks, I mean, that's probably yeah, plays really well on PlayStation VR. Console be sitting in the room like that. Well, did you <laughs> fucking heat button things, man? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Kyle put the, the PlayStation one through his telly. <laughs> what? Oh, man, and I, the amount of times I kicked his dog it's playing the dog. fucking medieval fighting game it was unbelievable. The dog just kept on going. Your legs? You There's nothing connected to your legs. It has. It's all done by like a fucking. It boxes you in and it takes your body movements and stuff like that as well. All right. It's okay. the he's got. All right, because um, like we were at Insomnia, right, and they were developing these. Knee pads for VR, right? Yeah. They, they connected the the, pa the pads onto your legs, and they say you, you you walk and it moves you forward, and you turn the way you normally would turn in VR, and it moves you on us, right? And the first thing I says to the guy was, "How do you move backwards?" Right? And he's like, ah, "What?" I'm like, I "I've never played Skyrim before. Don't know what I'm doing." These mad cunts come at me, and I'm like, "I don't know what I'm doing." So the first thing I'm trying to do is run away, but it's only programmed to go forward. So as I'm running, as I'm running backwards, <laughs> you I'm guys I'm, running forward. I'm physically running backwards in real space, like in the real world, right? And fucking, there's, the cables are coming off. The guys literally try to push me forward as I'm yanking the PC and that off the fucking table at Insomnia. How'd you go backwards? How'd you go backwards? <laughs> I'm like holy shit, man. That VR is a fucking nightmare. But there's this stuff like that coming, so like. You can totally imagine how there's got to be like either that or the omnidirectional treadmill. Probably the omnidirectional treadmill's got to be really expensive. Whereas I suppose the knee pads are got to be expensive as well through broken shit. You imagine playing that? Do you know what I mean? And you're no idea what's better though. In in theory, that would work a lot, lot better than knee pads. Aye, the omnidirectional treadmill, but that's that's. Thousands of thousands of pounds, ain't it? It's probably got like five grand or something for buying them. Easy peasy, man. Buying it for stuff like them is um, general. Shoe rollers, Caelan says in chat as well. Shoe rollers? That just sounds dangerous as well. Oh, yeah, like, that sounds like how to faceplant. Hold on, we'll put this thing with it. 
obscures your vision from the real world and then we'll put we'll, we'll put a pair of skates on we'll you. put a pair, <laughs> pair of skates on you yeah. <laughs> you like yeah. to keep the NHS in business <laughs> I don't think the NHS has had any problems with getting me and kept in business the new fucks man um, what trailer are we watching now then seeing as how we just be fucking forced to watch a fucking Star Wars one I want to watch Rogue Legacy 2 let's go Rogue Legacy 2 did you play Rogue Legacy 1? No. No? You've not played Rogue Legacy? I will do. I'm just a simple code in FIFA guy. We are racist students in the back run. <laughs> that he's made funny last week. <laughs> That's right, so we did. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> but they've brought a whole bunch of new, like, afflictions and stuff to the game. Are we getting arrows? We're getting oh, 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 cowboys and shit. This was on PlayStation Plus at one point, wasn't it? I did play this. Hammy Hammy Hans, he's still from Oz. Oh, that looks so good. Did he just fart? Yes, Latulance is back. Talking to Agnosia, Hyper Latulance. He just farted and said that guy in fire! Sinestra, Pure Diva. <laughs> Terrible coup. There's no longer just a castle that you go into, it's a kingdom. Yeah, this looks fucking brilliant. You don't take very many good 2D scrolls in the modern world. Oh man, when I first played this game, I trusted it. I didn't play that game both of it for years. No, I turned it. <laughs> Pass the pad is not a thing that I do. No sentry. I hope this is a try, by the way. Like, Looks fucking fantastic, man. 20th of the, the next movie? month, it comes out. Looks actually fucking fantastic. I can't wait for that, man. Still brought first graphics. Rogue Legacy was brilliant. The first one's amazing. I've never actually managed to complete it either, man. It's a very hard game. But I'm looking forward to the new classes. Pick up the coin. <laughs> did, did, I never even noticed that. Somebody must have ran past a coin. Like, it's that <laughs> trap. You're not allowed to run past coins in, in Rogue Legacy, man, because that's how you level up. Each time you die, you go back out and you've got to spend all your money to get access to the castle. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, oh man, every coin, every coin counts in it, man. You need to get the goddamn coin, man. You really do. The goddamn coin. The goddamn coin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so what we up to the night then, Community Games Night? What did we want to play? I'm playing Killing Floor first for at least an hour, so people are welcome to join uh, But what do yeah, we want Kellen. to play? Any games that you think would like to play multiplayer Viper, son? Uh, He's like, oh, no, I, I hate you guys. Bus simulator. Bus simulator. <laughs> you all you log on and wait at a bus stop, right? Uh-huh. And I'll pick these up. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to play Burger King Simulator where I get in my car and go to Burger King. Do you no, know what's really that good? Last week, free? you made me pure want a Burger King. You're not allowed to do that again this week. In fact, you've already done it. I hate you. I want a Burger King now. <laughs> Not, oh Check up a browser game called Osu. O S U. Doesn't that cost money? No. Free to play. No, Osu was free. You know what? Just to make. Oh, that's I was interested. Totally looks like an Eddie game. Just crazy right now, man. Eddie. I'm going to go just. He's going on just eat what a prick. Definitely hadn't done those in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not get Burger King on Just Eat Cod? It's I don't know by delivering on Just Eat, man. Do you want me? Yeah, they are. <laughs> are they? They're, they're no yeah. near me. I could show you right now. Like there is no Burger King, no King of Burgers, no burgers available. EK Retail, but destroys my soul. Is that not there anymore? What am I going to do? Fucking walk up. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll walk seven. His brother's sitting beside you. Who drives? I, I, I charge me on my taxi. Charge me on my taxi. 
<laughs> a slot in Indy Scots is not enough payment, God. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's his fault. I fucking says to him, podcast from five to six, come down after six. He appears at five like that. All right. How are you doing, man? <laughs> Can I feel what was on last night and then the fun the lightning started? I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, man, that, that was crazy last night. That was mental last night, man. Like, there must have been a lightning strike, man. The internet died for like fucking three years or something. But see, like, see when the internet died, it was pure, it was pure cam outside, right? And I took the dog out for a walk, so three in the morning or something, I was like, ah. What fucking else am I going to do? Know what I mean? Fuck it. Take the dog out for a walk. So I took him out. And it was pure clear. The night was clear. It was calm as fuck. There was no wind. And there was these big flashes, like, big lightning flashes. But there was no thunder. And so mm. it just shows you how intense the fucking lightning was and how far away it was that the sound did not reach us, man. Yeah, it was you metal, lost the man. Dog? It was surreal. The I'm dog's su- at my mum's. I'm surprised you've not lost the dog with a line for the garage outside, man. <laughs> I take him on a walk, see when, he, see when he's no listening. I take him on a walk and I'll be like, thunder this way, and he's no listening. I just fucking hide in the garage, man. Duck right down. And he does, Davey, he does the meerkat. He's like that. <laughs> Where are you, cunt? He's walking about in his hind legs. He's really, he's really good at balancing on his hind legs, so he's really good at doing the meerkat. He's really good at finding you in the tall grass, man. Why? It's because of the tall grass. He's actually getting a lot better after he's leaped. Because he's like, oh shit. If I don't listen... <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> if, I don't listen, if I don't listen, I could get lost. So he needs to stay close. He needs to know when to listen. It's actually done like a fucking good job of teaching him to stay after he's leaped. See you protesting when the gas cutters come back then. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Lie protest. Chain to the fucking drains. <laughs> You shall not cut my grass. But think, yeah. about, think about how, like... Thou shall not cut grass unless thou deliver Burger King. <laughs> See, the, long, the long grass is probably better for the environment as a whole. Do you know what I mean? Like, long grass like, is natural. It's not natural for it to be cut down all the time. Do you know but what you I mean? you can't like, walk through. Because you can't oh, see no, the jungle. Oh, 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 that's a distinctly human fucking viewpoint, ain't it? <laughs> can't he walk through yeah, the no. long grass? Fucking... Like, I went, because I've been up in Aberdeen the past week, I've not been there since, like, the start of March. And when I was there, the whole grass was, like, just very flat and everything. I came back, and there's a patch that my dad has purposely not cut, because uh, his girlfriend wants a, a wildlife zone. And in about two months, this grass has went from, like, being perfectly flat to being, like, six, seven feet tall. And I'm just like, how the fuck did that grow in two months? <laughs> Dad, how did you know grow. Made me grow like that? Aye. <laughs> I had to smoke around, around me all the time when I was growing up, so I wouldn't be the true height I could be. I could have been six foot tall, wasn't it for you? <laughs> Can you imagine a six foot tall viper? That's just fucking scary. <laughs> Big viper. Nah, I couldn't envision, <laughs> couldn't envision it, man. I'll just become bulk, bulk viper. Bulk viper. <laughs> I'll just become as as wide as I should have been tall. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I should now be known as Cannonball, for I am perfectly circular. I'll get by these fucking heads on a stick like Donald Trump, and I'll just sit on my side and I'll be tall. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact that like I had to stand on your couch to be the same height as Yeldy. That was fucking hilarious. That was hilarious. That's quite a whole couch. The couch is about a foot. It's about a whole foot. <laughs> that was funny, man. Viper's like... Because the two of them, the difference is like... They was like that. Next to you, I'll be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, you might watch another trailer. The Avengers one, I'm not really bothered about. I just put it in in case anybody else wants to see it. But um, the Cyberpunk 2077 one, I think everybody wants to see that trailer, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Let's you want to get an anime? Yes, I've seen it. It's getting an anime and it's getting comics and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it, <laughs> it was all scheduled to come out after the game, so it capitalises on it. But it's coming out before <laughs> the game now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might wait till I get a PS5 before I buy another one. I love this time. I need to get a new city of endless more. opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Well, they didn't tell you that this is actually PC6. 
the major leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But Get them, Moby. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Right. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Guess it belongs to the court. Mm -hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! How risk, how mm -hmm. reward. First no, rule of the afterlife. Come on, I'm not a lot of people are interested in that, but... To me, it's going to be one of these spectacular Ideally, failures. No, not a no one. chance, man. Sounds simple enough. It's too much hype surrounding it. And that's going to be a big disappointment when the release is. Don't you worry, yeah, boy. We're bulletproof. I'm not gonna lie. Not a fan of the first person. No. Happy now, Jackie. Yeah, I fucking hide. Time to bail. Oh my God, we're so fucked. No, I like the first person. It does. It does look good, right? But I've seen many games look like this and start off looking so fucking amazing. Hope for it to come to release time and be a big, massive, massive disappointment. There's oh. fucking Keanu Reeves, mate. How can it be Keanu Reeves is in it? How can it be bad? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, no, but one of the reasons I like, I believe it's going to be good is because the author of the Cyberpunk book series has already been out and said in numerous interviews that he can't wait for it because he's like been in the playtest and stuff like that. And he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's been in the whole development as the game's been made, and he's like, the few times that they've allowed me in the game, he says, mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed it because he's like, holy shit, this is the world I made. Things are where they're supposed to be. Everything, do you know what I mean? The stories are the way they're supposed to be. It feels like his world. It feels like, and he really likes it because it's a good representation of his world. So like, I think that's got a lot to be said. The fact that the mm -hmm. authors like that, yo, they've stuck really true to the story here. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, mm -hmm. they've made some changes here and there because it's a video game. But yeah. um, it's going to be much like The Witcher, with all the different storylines and all the quest lines and stuff. They already shot down the fact that uh, was there's going to be a wit that any Witcher like crossover. Yeah, the like in The Witcher like, Three, Siri, Siri goes. <clears throat> Siri's known as the Lady of Space and Time, and she can like open up portals to go to different realms. And she goes to she opens up a portal and she flees to her realm for uh, for the crones, and when she comes back later on, she talks about there being flying cars and people with um, like metal arms and stuff like that. And it's quite clear it's a cyberpunk teaser. Uh, but that's all oh, they said about it. They said there won't you will not be able to find Siri in cyberpunk. There will be no crossovers. It was just that's a it was just a teaser way back. Um, I, I still think they're missing West. out if there isn't just a like. This be big. Maybe just like if you go to a certain bar, there's she's just sitting there and you can go higher. No, I don't think I don't think I, I think if they're going to do it anyway, they'll they'll do like rumours. Do you know there'll be some sort of rumour that there was somebody here and they sh they had some sort of power. And I don't know. I think it'll, I don't yeah, know. It'll be, it'll it'll be, be a like rumor. A, it'll be like a, a like a back background background lore story almost if they're gonna do it at all. Which they mm -hmm. said they were. Whole, like, like, <laughs> do you know they said, so you saw a lot of like people going about with like gangs and shit, obviously, like in cars and stuff. It'll be a case of someone to go like, Oh, have we taken care of that woman with a sword yet? That'll be it. <laughs> mm. I don't like if they're gonna do it, that's that's the way that I think they'll do it. But they said they they weren't going to do it. A toss a coin for your Witcher techno remix would be quality. <laughs> 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 Just see Geralt. Have you ever seen that fucking that video with the? It's like the big. They always put it to like German techno music, and it's the big German guy walking about with his tap after he's doing like the walk. Oh, well, the techno viking. Aye, the techno viking. That guy. <laughs> That's how I like pictured the Geralt dancing to the toss to your coin with which are the techno remix. He's <laughs> just walking down with swords, man. <laughs> 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 Strolling in his horse. 
<laughs> That's another I thing I read about cyberpunk as well. You're going to be able to see the way you're in, the whist- in The Witcher, you whistle for Roach. You're pretty much going mm-hmm. to be able to do that with your car because there'll be an AI in your car or something. You'll be like, motor, yeah. It'll just appear. That would be fucking great, but wouldn't it? Whistling on your car. Techno Viking is actually really boring as a person now. He's probably like fucking 50 or something, isn't he? <laughs> he got clean off the drugs and he's a geologist. <laughs> <laughs> could you could you imagine that? Like imagine like 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 him mar- marrying like a geologist person and at the wedding it's like do you know he wasn't always a geologist? <laughs> 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 you just see him just... sitting in the office there's like a 60 year old guy and he's like oh no they've done it he's like taps off <laughs> Lacey's, fucking, Lacey's fucking dinner with some LSD and it's just him with a dance floor like <laughs> granddad granddad fucking sit down nine <laughs> nine <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> well, at least these ways they may be doing the granny dance. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Your granny gets on the on the dance floor and she basically just stands in the one spot and taps her feet to one side. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine your granny was on the fuck or your granny granddad was doing the Viking dance, but that fucking on your cell, man! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ganda! Hello, my name is Morag and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Starts break dancing. <laughs> like, Morag! Fucking hell, man, you'll need a new hip. She's like, goat one, it's plastic. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Captain probably oh, says um, that should be an outtake for season two by Henry Cavill cutting shapes. I agree. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> it just opens with Henry Cavill cutting shapes like the techno Viking man. <laughs> 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 oh. Right, so are we talking about the, twi- uh, the mixer? The mixer merge? Are we talking about that? Yeah. There's, there's, there's one specific part of that whole thing I want to talk about, just because it's just... Oh, So do you remember a year ago, all these streamers signing on to Mixer, you know, Oh, they Ninja, Shroud. Ninja and Shroud. Shroud. And I've mm. got a big Andy Scott's in my face. So you do. Sorry, I, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, all that was going on. So, obviously, because Mixer has been merged with Facebook, they basically said to people, like, well, let's, let, we'll go for Ninja, right? You've worked with us for 10 months. We'd like to offer you a contract with Facebook Gaming for 60 million. 60 million. No way. And he goes, no. I'm not going to go with Facebook Gaming. So they have to buy him out his contract. Do you know how much Ninja just got paid for 10 months work? $30 million. Shroud got 10, didn't he? Shroud got $10 million. And you know what's the best part? There's a clip of Dr. Disrespect, right? Who would have said? Who like was offered that like a contract just as big as Ninjas about a year ago? Sitting there going, "Are you telling me I could have fucking made thirty million dollars?" <laughs> like oh, that's mad, he, this man. You, you can see just how fucking mad he is. Just kill him. Bring up a point as well. Not to mention the money he was already it. earning. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, like, it's just like it's pretty much just like free money for a guy like Ninja, the new. What do you mean? The no. platform collapsed below me. But I think like we need to talk about the other side of it as well. Do you know what I mean? Think of the people that... Um, we, we are on small Twitch channels and we know like it takes blood, sweat and fucking tears to get like some to get a decent viewership, right? And think of the people that put blood, sweat and fucking tears into Mixer and are seeing Ninja getting offered to get mm-hmm. 30 million and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? When he was yeah. brought to the platform... He was asked to come to the platform and now he's been told that he can't be there and he's getting kicked off and he's getting all this money whereas people that have put blood, sweat and tears, I obviously they're not going to get anything, they're not going to get compensation and stuff like that but I think it needs to, do you know what I mean? Like if you followed somebody on Mixer, make sure you fucking follow them on where they go, whatever. Make sure well, you follow that person, went, do you know what I mean? Because they put blood, sweat and fucking tears into that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That Ma- Mixer kind of changed overnight. the rules consistently to keep Ninja and Shroud as the face of the company. So, like mm-hmm. people that were just about to reach partner and stuff, the the requirements for partner kept moving 
to keep Ninja and Shroud at the forefront of Mixer. So mm. there's a lot of people get screwed over because of the two yeah. as well. I didn't know that, really. There was a lot coming mm. last week about That's some bullshit, man. But yeah, as, as far as I've heard, Ninja's going to D-Live. Um, Shroud's, I think, is coming back to Twitch. Uh, Shroud's going to YouTube, I think. If, if I was Twitch and any of the two of them approached me, I would reject them flat out. Yeah, so that's what Ninja done. Ninja was like, I'm, I'm never going back. Well, well, look at how Twitch fucking treated Ninja when he left. They mm. departed his channel instantly, and they advertised fucking porn on his channel. Like, yeah. Like, aye. I, 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 when he left Twitch, that's yeah. right. They, aye, that's yeah. right. Aye. But that's, that's just fucking what's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, it comes with being popular. People want to, to people, people see your popularity and they're trying the same thing, so they get jealous and they think that you've fucked them over. Like, then just sitting there like, listen, I didn't fuck anybody over. I, yeah. I like I, he put the time in plus got a bit of luck in that he kind of deserves to be where he is because he done what was it six years before he really took off in Fortnite do you know what I mean mm-hmm. that's the blood sweat and tears I'm talking about do you know what I mean so like there is still a lot of people that look at like these big streamers and get resentful towards them do you know what I mean but like and th- that what Mixer done if you're saying what, what Mixer done is true then that, that I feel like they've got to get even more resentment put towards them and that's no their fault <laughs> They were the no. I doubt that they were asking for Mixer to change the listen, keep me at the top. I doubt I mm-hmm. doubt Ninja was worrying about fucking Cody ate my dog catching him. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't I think, think Ninja is like that though. I think he would have asked for it. Are you think, kidding me? Because he wants to be the face of things, yeah. Yeah, he does. Look at how he's, he's got he's he's a Didis deal and all that, he's got that tied in so that nobody can do the same thing as him for like the next year and a half or but so. But it's natural progression of capitalism. Think about it like think about when we were growing up. Think about how much of a big deal everybody made about white football boots when they first came out. Look at that cunt me wearing fucking white football boots. Who do you think he is? Fucking Nancy Bancy. Six months later, yeah. a white football and boot. fucking nowadays you've got fucking all different colours of football boots. Everybody's got a football boot sponsorship. They're, they guys are famous, they're well known, and people with, um, what is it, like logos and merchandise and like brands. They want mm-hmm. to get their brand on something that's well known. It doesn't matter how yeah. you're well known. That's known. Then. Like, I don't. Obviously, like you're not going to say no to something like that. But I doubt Ninja approached Adidas and was like, ah, "Yo, Adidas, give me money." No, Adidas no, approached Adidas, him. But, uh, yeah, because they realised here. Wait, hold on. Kids will buy anything with the word Ninja on ninja it. Ninja attached to yeah. Yeah. Ninja boot, like n- ninja shoes, ninja tracksuit, ninja, ninja t-shirt, t-shirt, ninja, ninja hat, hat, ninja socks, and you're like. But there's also like, Cristiano Ronaldo, all that stuff. There's fucking, you probably find Roger Federer, yeah. all that stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's like, name name, yeah. name, a, name, name, a, name a sport that's that's big run about the world, then name the, the, the person at the top of it. Maria Sharapova, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Female tennis player. Like, you see, oh, it always happens. It happens everywhere. Do you know what I mean? It happens with everything. It's just, that's just rampant progression of capitalism. But don't worry. You can always outsell them two for a pound dildos, and you'll make it. You'll reach the top. <laughs> there you go, guys. You've heard it first. You'll have Andy Scott's branded dildos two for a pound. No, no, no. They won't be Andy they come in blue, no, and no, they no. come in white. Check the Stream <laughs> Elements store after podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Variety of sizes. The whole podcast was secret advertisement. <laughs> and welcome, Dan Danios. Danios says he's Scottish, or she says she's Scottish. The soul. Don't know. No going to assume Dad. Saint Shelley's. But welcome to the podcast. Yes, it is a Scottish stream. Can you speak Scottish Gaelic Celtic at any percentage? You mean Gaelic? No. No, no, we can't. Valashi Hash. I can Google it. We can, can Google, Google it, it. we wouldn't be able to say any it. No. The Gaelic's a dead language. It's a dead language. There's like fifteen people speak it. I can get a bash, but Probably couldn't remember it. Like when I was watching all you had was probably a Davy Beer. Aye, aye, like it's just aye, 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 aye. That's the real Scottish. Aye, Scottish. They were the darties. <laughs> 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 when BBC Alba became popular. <laughs> <laughs> I was on. You know what's the weirdest part? I used to have a mate uh, when because I, I was in the boys' brigade when I was in primary school, and there was a guy there, and I was friends with him and stuff. And then all of a sudden, this camera crew showed up, and he was on that. You know that kid's Gaelic show? Turns out you could speak fluent Gaelic because of his school. And I'm just like, what? So I'm on t- <laughs> standing next to him while he's speaking this like language, and I'm just like, hi. 
<laughs> you could be saying that we're all actually infidels who are coming to Vipers kill just looking at them like that. How come you've been decolonised and I've no? <laughs> <laughs> I want decolonised. I've, 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 slowly, I've been slowly learning Gaelic, just trying to get, get it there, like, like, because I think it'd be a cool language to speak. But there's some fucking words that I'm just like, oh, fuck me, this is already going to be hard as nails. Right, so... The reason it's going to be hard is because... Mean- you're, you're past the point where your brain's malleable, do you know what I mean? Your brain's like, pretty much finished its development, you're ready to be an adult now, and you're like... Fucking hope not. <laughs> yo, yo, brain, why learn another language? It's like, ah, I ain't doing that shit, mate. That was for high school. No, nope, we're past that stage. No new languages here. Nope, no thank you. Oh, oh trust. Here's one, right? Like, if you saw a cow, what would you call a cow? A cow? In Scots, how how would you say uh, cow in Scots? A coo. A coo. Do you know what coo? Do you know what coo is in Gaelic? A dog. <laughs> if I said the word pig, right? If this is like, if I said like, you know, tha uh, tha agus coo big, right? What do you think the word big means? Big, like big. Big. No, obviously, obviously no meaning. Obviously no. It's a trick fucking question, small. meaning. It means big hidden means dildo. Tall. Big means tall. <laughs> big means tall. I suppose it kind of get the same meaning. Oh, small. Oh, small. small yeah, obviously it's going to be the opposite. Small. <laughs> so why not Scottish learn Gaelic? Scotty, we probably should be taught Gaelic more often. You're right. You're right. Sorry, but see if it's on my fucking street signs if I'm going up north and like the first lines are Gaelic. I want to know what it fucking says. I know it'll just say like, oh, this way to fucking Dingwall. Well, but like, like you one know, would probably just, just mean the opposite going on what you've just told us. <laughs> <laughs> no, that way to Dingwall. <laughs> I can't learn Gaelic because I'm still learning Scottish. That's I where I'm like. I don't, I'm not like. English is the lingua, lingua franca, franca of the world. Do you know what I mean? It's the common tongue of the world. So there is literally no reason for me to learn another language. That's my <laughs> opinion on it. Do you know what I mean? Like most people in the world, you go English, <laughs> and usually anywhere you go, anywhere that I'll fucking go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's got to be somebody that's got to be like, aye. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, you're not going to, you, you, you go to somewhere around about the world, you go to the touristy place, right? Unless you're fucking going like backpacking or some shit, right? Uh-huh. The, the, the countries are making sure they've got cunts that speak English. Do you know right. what I mean? When you walk into the airport, it's going to have the home language with English next to it. Right There's next no to it. There's no reason for an English speaker to learn any other language. Apart no. from when you go to France, because they hate speaking any other fucking language bar French. <laughs> you're like, ah, English? Think... They're like, ah, yes, and then can just talk, start talking French again. You're like, ah, I fucking speak English? No, no, no. You're like, oh, and you said you speak English, man. <laughs> it's a nightmare going to France, by the way. France is the, good, the... it's fun, aye, when you find somebody English to tell you where the fucking toilet is, so you got shite. <laughs> <laughs> and then, there's, then there's me every time I go on holiday to Spain. Dos Corona, por favor. That's all I need. Like, that, don't, that that new bit. don't say that new bit. No, no. Sorry. Don't, don't serve it. Just like. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> just start Five throwing face <laughs> punches and hands for the guys that you. El Diablo! El Diablo! <laughs> Get off my bush with no face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Go get drunk in that pub and slave on people. Be right. <laughs> here, sure does pipe. <laughs> oh man! man. Like, did you see the video on social media this week? Of a guy getting into a supermarket in Florida. Well, and he never had a face mask, and literally, the, like, every, he's, he's he's trying to push his way. <laughs> he's like, that fuck out of my way. Comes in for like a loaf of bread. He's having to fight for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that sorry so you're not in the store without a face mask oh where can I buy the face mask in store <laughs> AO7 <seven. laughs> do you know what I mean it, like, it's a completely counterintuitive right you're not wearing a face mask right like see when you breathe how far does can your breath actually take those particles before they, before they just become air 
and oh, just, yeah. just become like just static in no, the around the rest of the particles. What two, three feet? Probably two <laughs> meters. That's probably why there's a two meter rule, right? So mm. um as long as you stay two meters away from people, you're not contaminated. So you don't really need the face mask. So why the fuck is there fucking like five like but if you're not wearing a suit like like what happened to that guy in the supermarket that I'm talking about? There's like ten people all grabbing him. Oh, they've got their face masks on? Oh, <laughs> well done. Well done. IQ 200, do you know what I mean? Like, GG. I think, it, I think the reason it helps wear a mask is, like, I've noticed the reason, the reason I actually wear a mask is because I've got a really bad habit of itching my nose and touching my, like, my beard and shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I'm, the reason I wear a mask is because, well, if I put a mask on and I'm at, like, fucking Asda or something, right? I'm not saying don't wear a mask, right? I, I'm, I'm not saying go, that. Like, you know, Pick up, a, pick up, I don't know, you know, pick up a sandwich or something of shit, and some guy with Corona has come in and touched it before. If I touch it and I do that, all oh, oh my, my mask is, oh look, it's no all longer in my beard. And I'm not going to eat my sandwich and get Corona. Like you know that I want that I want that on a I want that on a t-shirt now. Eat my sandwich <laughs> and get Corona. <laughs> <laughs> but I hundred percent, I'm not saying don't wear a face mask. I'm just saying if you if you are wearing a face mask and you see somebody that's not wearing a face mask. Don't try and push them off the bus or push them out the supermarket. Keep your fucking distance. Because if you're wearing a mask, you're worried about getting the coronavirus. You're worried about contamination. Don't go touching mm-hmm. other people. <laughs> That's, That's stupid. Like oh, you're not wearing a mask. You don't, uh, do I you don't know like what I mean? Your virus. Counterproductive. It's completely <laughs> counterproductive. I. It's the Dunning Kruger effect. These cunts wearing masks touching mm-hmm. people are standing at the top of Mount Stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Fox News told me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, Wash your fucking hands. Wash your fucking hands. It's like kind of mask. Bastard the queen at the same time. God. Behind the mask, it gets all moist and stuff like that. So it's a fucking breeding ground for bacteria. So they're not entirely it's safe sense, either. Fifty pack face masks are back in stock on Prime Delivery on Amazon. By the way, there you go. I bet is it an N ninety seven mask? Are you breathing better? Because they're all right. ones. Right. So you know you're. You know the how N97s you're saying? are designed for dust, no viruses. Aye, but neither they're dust neither, masks. Neither, neither are surgical masks. They're dust masks that have literally got a charge in their particles to capture dust. Hey, there was a guy up here when this all first happened wearing a fucking knee pad on his face. <laughs> knee pad. But, no joke. At least he tried. Fair enough. Two out of ten. You know, it's not a zero out of ten, do you know what I mean? Like It's, it's a two out of ten. One and a half max. You could you could you could work with that. Listen, mate. One and a half it's max. A and for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate. I'll get you a mask and two dildos for a pound. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the two dildos for a pound. And we'll throw the mask in. <laughs> yeah, do you know you were saying they'll wash your hands for God save the bastard queen, right? No, I've got something better. For the exact same amount of time it takes to sing that song, you can also wash your hands too. I have brought peace. Freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. See when you're the room fucking came out to wash your hands consistently, you. and there was like no fucking soap on any shop shelf for love nor money. <laughs> what the fuck were people doing before that? Aye. That's my question. But it was there like, was hey, plenty of it was just one of the there and then all man is like, oh, this just is just shit. Shit. fuck it, there's no corona, I don't need to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> This is just showing how much of a, like the, the, a nation of dirty bastards we were before all this. Mm-hmm. Like, like, but then again, you also the people who are buying like forty rolls of toilet paper, and like, oh, just in case I can't get any. Like, so, <laughs> someone done someone done the maths, right? And it's like you saw like um you saw someone like buy like eight bo- eight boxes of the like the fucking co- like Corona the Costco like sized fucking toilet roll right mm-hmm. and he worked it out and he was like let's like he said basically if somebody was using like six sheets per poo like da 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 rolled that through all that, but they're single ply like, and they're that far apart in the roll uh, <laughs> and it's like they, 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 they'd have to use like for, they'd have to do like 18 sheets a day to get through that amount of toilet paper mm-hmm. some people during might rise to that day. challenge man Competitive oh, eaters sitting sorry. there getting fed hot dogs while just sitting on the toilet. Ah, I will get through this. <laughs> <laughs> I will get my money's worth. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Cheap but toilet like, roll, cheap hot dogs. My Sunday's fucking sorted, <laughs> boys. <Yeah. laughs> kitchen toilet seat complete. <laughs> oh, oh can, I, can I get that toilet seat as well? <laughs> like one of the like um uh Wait, one of the great things about tables about... you get for the whole spit. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I didn't get throw that toilet paper. I didn't get a pork up grannies for this one. It's good about the start of lockdowns that everyone went and bought pasta, rice, bread, and all that, right? Nobody touched the meats. I was I getting know. like really good steaks for like <laughs> dead cheap. I was like, you, you, you guys can all stay on fucking lockdown as long as you want if I'm getting this kind of stuff. people that bought the pasta and rice and stuff. Still got it. Negus. <laughs> You'll see eBay inundated with pasta and rice and a cheap price. Keep your eyes open. See if you eat that amount of pasta, you're not going to be shitting. You're going to be shitting. You're just going to take your toilet paper back to the shop. How are you not going to be shitting? Yeah, it's going to be coming out that solid you wouldn't even need to wipe it. <laughs> just It'll be ghosties all the way. <laughs> Right, Best thing about technology. Hmm. According to social oh, media, like, it does anyway, aye. Right, right, it's <laughs> apparently good if you drop your phone in like water or something like that, man, drop it in a fucking bed of rice and it'll soak the water out of it. Ah, it soaks the water out of it, but it's not exactly mm-hmm. fixing it if it's broke. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it works or not, man. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, we just used to throw the central, the radiator man and fucking turn the heat and hope for the blast. best aye man like, I don't know how many Just Game Boys my wee brother fu- no you my youngest brother dro- like dropped Game Boys in the toilet for fun must have just been mm. sitting there like oh my fucking nerve I've dropped my Game Boy in the toilet oh, again Game Boy. more Game Boys in the Dana toilet Dana shit putting Pokemon into it <laughs> Dana shit Pokemon, Pokemon yellow <laughs> we've all done it do you know what I mean you're sitting on the toilet and you're, you, you get dawns on you you stopped mm. shitting 40 minutes ago, do you? You're just sitting half naked <laughs> in a j- on a toilet. Oh, I better wipe my arse and fucking move why out of here. Here's a question. Why are you saying he's lying sleeping at the top of the stairs, been waiting in the toilet like that? <laughs> <laughs> why are toilets so comfy, though? Has anyone else noticed that? The fact that toilet seats are just re- quite comfy. Mine's just leather and it's padded. I don't know about yours. It's <laughs> just, just your hoose that's padded. <laughs> Your cell. I think that would be awesome, man. I would just be running after the walls all day, just until I tire myself for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like fucking one of my mates, man. We were at a party one time, right? And we were all sitting drunk. And one of my mates goes, This reminds me of when I was young. And we're like, How? And he's like, Oh, because I just used to take my mom's painkillers and run heat first into radiators. You're like, What? <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like it's okay. Like, yeah. oh, there are God. some people who just like like how are you alive? How, how how did you make it to this? How how, how are you still here? I but no names. I'm not telling you his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What's name would be? No, no. <laughs> no. We'll be able to it. <laughs> Is this the same guy who woke up under a table? No. No, no, <laughs> different guy, different guy. I've still got a gif on my fucking PC. Oh, that's the gifs on my the gifs on my, my channel. It's on, where's my mouse? If you if you ever encodate my dog in my own channel, type exclamation mark where's my mouse and you'll see the gif that we're all talking about. But that's all the time we have for this week. At six o'clock, we're going to be switching to the game section of Community Games Night. We'll be back in a couple of minutes and we'll be playing Killing Floor Two to start us off. Thank you very much to SM Viper. <laughs> DM Viper is his new name he changes it all the time it'll be called something next week and thank you very much to Blue Mini for joining us my older brother and thank you very much to my younger brother who wasn't supposed to be here until now you wee dick thank you very much for watching guys <laughs> and we'll see you all in a couple of minutes night guys it's all the French I learned at school I get confused with the time David's the absolute opposite of me man he's fucking early I would have been there if it's fucking 8 if I said 6 <laughs> Next week, <laughs> next Friday. Build this network on Scots with soul. What are you playing now? We're playing Kevin Floyd to start us off. Good.